It's Tech Lid, and we're bullish. The stampede is coming, baby. In this video, we will be talking about two cryptocurrencies who need no introduction, Bitcoin and XRP. Although they are different, I get asked all the time, what are the similarities and what are the differences between Bitcoin? In this video, we will be covering what are the differences between Bitcoin and XRP. This is an article from HackerNoon.com. On October 31, 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper on the cryptography mail list METZDOWD.com describing a digital currency titled Bitcoin, a peer to peer electronic cash system. As you know, the rest is history. On January 3, 2009, the Bitcoin network was created when Satoshi mined the starting block of the chain, and the rest is history. Litecoin was the second crypto that was launched in October 2011, and after that came XRP. The underlying technology of XRP, XRP Ledger, aka XRPL, was the second major blockchain system and consensus mechanism that was different from proof of work that Bitcoin and Litecoin used. Look, so the XRPL was launched in June 2012 by three Bitcoin developers who saw the potential problems of Bitcoin and proof of work and wanted to build something that would not use proof of work and mining to validate transactions, which is what Bitcoin does do. The goal was to create a better Bitcoin with a more sustainable and advanced consensus mechanism. The XRPL used the Federated Byzantine Agreement FBA model as its consensus algorithm and it's called XRP Ledger Consensus Protocol. The next part of the article covers the supply. Bitcoin's maximum supply is 21 million and XRP maximum supply is 100 billion. The difference is that all XRP were created on the first day. All are in existence today and no more than the original 100 billion can be created. So pretty much there is no... It's not like something like Dogecoin where there is an unlimited supply. No, XRP is capped at 100 billion until Bitcoin supply reaches its maximum they are created through the mining procedure each block generates new bitcoins which are distributed to the miners as rewards that's how Bitcoin supply is increasing while XRP works differently there are no rewards no more XRP can be minted and it is also deflationary as every transaction cost is burned and destroyed, which slowly reduces its supply. Proof of work consensus. So this is another section here. We're not going to go into this. Of course, if you want to check out the full article yourself, just come and check it out. We're just going over a few things here. I'm not going to read the entire article. So let's talk a little bit here about some of the differences and benefits between XRP and Bitcoin. So on average, one Bitcoin block is mined every 10 minutes, but a transaction can take much longer, especially if there is a congestion on the network and high usage, aka multiple, multiple people on the network. And as big as Bitcoin and is and popular as it is, we know that there could be a lot of congestion on that network. The transaction cost can also vary from few dollars to tens of dollars. On the other hand, the XRP ledger settles transactions in 3 to 5 seconds with a transaction cost of less than a penny. Look at that, 0 0.0001 XRP on average, and it can process 1,500 plus transactions per second. Here you can see the main differences. XRP is fast, 3 to 5 seconds to settle a transaction. 
Bitcoin, it takes 10 plus minutes to settle that. Obviously, advantage here goes to XRP. Low cost, 0.0002 per transaction. Bitcoin, about $5 per transaction. We don't have to be a math whiz to figure out XRP does this better as well. Which one is more scalable? 1,500 transactions per second. Bitcoin only 3 transactions per second. No brainer XRP again. Sustainable. Environmentally sustainable. Negligible energy consumption. Bitcoin 0.3% of global energy consumption. Just think about that. Almost half a percent of the world's consumption on the entire globe is used for Bitcoin. XRP? Not quite. Every single XRP has already been made and it is in existence. It's not like Bitcoin, which is still being mined till this day. So those are definitely just a few things to keep in mind here. Today, many people see Bitcoin as a store of value against and the hedge against inflation and not as an efficient system for P2P transactions anymore. Either way, Bitcoin was the first in the market. It started this revolution and it's the reason we are all here today. It opened the way for this technology to show what it can do and allowed for more experiments to be done and better technologies and decentralized consensus mechanisms to be created. There is no reason for tribalism and maximalism. There are countless use case markets and problems to be solved by this transformative technology and each crypto does its own thing. Like Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum are all focusing on different things and use cases. There will not be only one winner. We are in a new internet era. In the end, blockchain is a revolutionary technology and it's transforming the world. Cryptocurrencies are the evolution of money and finance. And for the people who are here for the technology and the vision of decentralization, must let hatred and tribalism aside and support each other. I agree with this full heartedly. Look, I am not a financial advisor. Always make sure to do your own due diligence and research when you invest in any type of market. When you do the homework and you do the research, you will come out winning back on it. Just something that I wanted to bring to the forefront was this Bitcoin and XRP thing. It is definitely a great article and something to refresh in if you are one of those long-time investors. And it could be little things that you have forgotten about each cryptocurrency. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up so we could move this across that YouTube algorithm. If you don't like the video, keep it real and honest with yourself. Give it a thumbs down. Either way, the news ain't gonna stop. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so we can stay notified and up to date. Until the next time, peace and love to the Tech Lid Legion.